How are you? Good. My name is Micah. Micah? Yes, ma'am. What's mm -hmm. your name? Diana. Diane. Mm -hmm. what's, um, so what's the, the purpose here? To bring awareness to the community that this is the brutal slaughter of preborn babies and that over 200 babies are murdered every week in Tampa alone. And there's over 3,000 babies that are murdered every day in America nationwide. Yeah. And the Christian community, by and large, as a whole, as a majority, aren't doing anything to stop it. The majority of the Christian community is not doing anything to stop it. Mm -hmm. And these events don't do anything to end the murder. They, it, it's good, you know, you raise money to buy diapers and formula, right? That's what this is for. To buy diapers and, that's good. That, that's a charity organization. All churches should do that. That's great. But when is the church going to rise up and actually establish justice so that those who murder babies will actually be punished? Do you believe a woman should be punished, tried by a jury of her peers if she murders a baby in the womb? Well, I think there's a lot that can be done. Um, well, yes or no? Whether, whether or not the law permits... Um, what well, do you, you think know, the law should permit it? I think that it's the abortion's murder and that so, it's wrong. Okay, so, so you I think, think anybody, it should be permitted? I think anybody who commits murder has blood on their hands. Right. So, so whether you, it's the doctor or, um, you know, the person that makes the decision, or that, the mother. That, that blood is on their hands. Right. Um, so should they be yeah. punished by a jury of their peers? Well, I think that's up for, you know, up for the lawmakers to decide. Is that you what know, you I want believe, your is that what Bible you want says, your lawmaker? Yeah. We all know what God's law says. The problem that we have, the disconnect, is that God's people don't want to mirror that law on earth. Yeah. I, I think my question for you though is, you know, what, But you did before you gotta answer mine first. Which, you didn't answer my question. If what was the question again? The question is now you danced around it and you try to answer it in a roundabout way. So I'm gonna try different ways to answer the question and ask the question until you answer me. You, when I asked you, should a woman be tried by a jury of her peers if she murders a baby in the womb? If she hires someone to murder a baby in the womb and she's successful at doing that? You, your first answer was, well, there's different ways of dealing with the issue. That You didn't give me a yes or no answer. Then you said it's up to the lawmakers. So my next question to you is, if you're voting for your lawmaker, what do you want your lawmaker to do? Do you want your lawmaker to present a bill that will criminalize this under the murder statute? Well, I think you're putting the carriage before the horse because, unfortunately, because abortion is legal, then you're asking a, a question that can't be answered. Should they be charged? So I think that they should make abortion illegal and then at, at that point then address how to... But how that, to deal it with all goes together, though. That's, law. Well, that's what you do. When someone commits murder, you're, you're arrested for murder. If you break that law... So do you believe that that's how it should be, that that you would rally behind and um, demand from your legislators to present a bill, your Florida state legislators to present a bill that will criminalize it under the murder statutes to establish preborn babies as human beings? Again, I think that's putting the part before the horse. No, I'm, I'm, how, it's yeah. not, it, I'm asking you, is that what you want your lawmakers to do? Because laws can be changed, you know that, right? Mm -hmm. So what was once legal, like for example, marijuana. Marijuana was once illegal, and now it's legal, right, in Florida to use medical marijuana. Before it was illegal. So was that putting the cart before the horse when everybody demanded from their legislators to present a bill that would allow it to be legal? Was that, did they put the cart before the horse yeah. by doing that? Well, you know. And, yes or no, sir? Don't, please don't dance around these questions. Yeah, well, I'm because not, laws can be changed. Well, again, my question for you is, I don't know what your purpose is. I, I'm trying to, I'm getting there. Because you've got, a, you've got this picture up and now you're asking me about marijuana. I'm trying to make the parallel because you said well, I'm just that we're putting I'm trying to understand the cart. If I, in I'm other words, I I'm think, demanding from my legislators. Yeah, to, I, I think you... You I won't think, answer my question. I think you have good intentions, but I think you might be going about it the wrong way. Well, that's my view of you. You're going about this the wrong way because this is not ending well, abortion. You call this raising money for diapers. It is. And that's not what. That's not all what that is it, it is. Okay. Have you ever been to? I used to be a director of a pregnancy center when I lived in Wisconsin. Right. Have you ever been to a life care facility? They're all the same. They're all the same. Yeah, what I, they, I, explain I think, to me. What do they do? I think you're more intelligent than that. No. What are they? It's then to, you tell me. You tell me. Just, what am I missing? I wouldn't. I wouldn't say because you're a white woman that you're the same as all white women. This has nothing I, I to do with I wouldn't do skin that. color. You have, if you've never been to their facility, you have no idea what they do. They don't just raise money for diapers. 
that, that's, that's pretty that's pretty that, that's superficial. a general statement yeah it is superficial yeah. because that's what you do have you seen <laughs> what you do is are you superficial. familiar with anybody who's who has who, their life has been changed as a result of seeking the counseling and the life coaching that they do? I, I, I see that when I witness to people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, I see people with life. Excuse me one second. Hey, just so you know, uh, there's an administrator from the school that's on the way here to determine the property line of the school. Yeah, the property line is right where the fence is at. I checked it already this morning, and I've got it on my phone if you want to see it. Okay, but that's well, the property line. I have an administrator from the school come to check it. I, I've got it right here. You want to look at it? You don't even have to wait for him. I got it no, right here. On the way. We'll look at it when she gets here. I got it. I got it right here online. The official Hillsborough County property line. Um, no, what I'm trying to help you understand is, pregnancy centers, and they all function the same. Their their mission statement, when they when they establish their organization, their nonprofit 501c3 corporation in with the state, they have to have a mission statement. And all the pregnancy centers, their mission statement is the same, to help women, basically, in a nutshell. That's their statement, to help women who are facing an unplanned pregnancy. There's no mention about the child. There's no mention at all about the preborn. Nothing about establishing justice for them. What we'll puts you on this mission? I'm curious as to because why God, you would be trying to halt the very no, organization I'm, I'm that, to open that your you eyes. are no. supposedly no, I'm trying fighting to for. It. I'm, it's, it's I'm a, trying it's a to help you open, open your eyes. Okay open i want you i'm trying to persuade you to understand this is not ending abortion do you so think what, that what do you think the solution is to establish what i've just been telling you to establish justice for them we need to get out there we need to counter all the misinformation that's out there that woman that was just so yelling why, why are you sending this message to the very people who want the same thing that you do they don't these people here don't want the same thing i do you don't even want the same thing i do why? I, I disagree I, with well, you. Well, do you I think, want I think abortion we all agree to that be abortion, criminalized? I think we all. I think we all agree that it's it's one, it's sin in, in God's eyes. And if you could if you could categorize sin, it'd be one of the worst sins would, you could it's ever. It's murder, right? Right. It's murder. Okay. So I think we agree on that. I don't understand why you try. Because to, I'm trying to establish justice for the preborn and yeah. say everybody involved in this We're murder on the same page. should be. Should page. be punished, but yeah. you're not agreeing with that. You don't agree that women should be punished. Well, I, you know, if that's your agenda, that's okay. God's agenda. God well, says that they're like, we, why do we punish the rapist? Do you think God, men should be punished for raping women? God's, God's the one. God's the one who judges us all. Yeah, He judges but, the rapist. So to put ourselves in a position position of a judge, I'm not. I'm so not we shouldn't go criminalize there. rape then, because we would be putting yeah. ourselves in the position of God. So again, I, I don't really understand. Yes no. you, what you're saying and what you're doing are two different things. No, what you're saying is yeah. not making any sense. It's not. No, it's not. That we agree. We don't agree. That sir. we agree that Do abortion you, is yes wrong. Yes or no? See, you won't answer me. Well, you, you will not answer me. I said I believe women should be punished for murdering their babies. And you won't answer that. You, you know what? I think they already do receive a, a punishment. Okay, then see. Because you know why I know that? Because the women who come mm -hmm. and seek help through organizations like this That's talk, a, there, talk, there's, talk about there's a small percentage talk of women. about the things that they have to deal with as a result of abortion, and it's a mm -hmm. horrible punishment. It's a lifelong punishment. Well, I so think, again, I think that. You, you blanket everything and everybody with churches and, and pregnancy uh, centers as into one ideology that you have, and you come out here and do this, which actually is going against everything no, that, that you say that, no, that that's you're a, for. That's, a, that's your opinion, and that's, that's wrong. Opinion. It's wrong. It's not my your opinion. assessment is wrong. It's not my opinion. Because I'm basically, like you're, right now, there is a petition. You're here trying to send you a shocking message yeah, it is shocking. to people who are here who in many ways agree with you. But they won't come out and help rescue the babies that are up, that are being murdered That's at the murder exactly mill. That's exactly what they're doing. There's 200 babies That's murdered. That's exactly what they're doing. 200 babies. Have you seen their facility? Have you been in a life care facility? You haven't. So how can you talk about the things that you don't I, know about? I know that 200 babies. Have you seen the women that go in and to get the sonograms? Have you seen? Have you yes, seen their I've sonogram seen, facility? Yes, I've seen. I used to be a director. Yes. You haven't been to life care. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let 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 get a consensus. Are you familiar no, with I, how many women have decided not to have an abortion? According to their, I've seen their statistics. Yes, I've seen. A, I don't know what what did they save about eight hundred lives a year. So you just write that off. 
in light of the fact that for that 800 that you save supposedly there's over there's 10 times more that are being murdered without justice so you just wipe that away and say no what i know what i'm saying is you're you're ignoring thing. the ones that are being murdered no. then how, how are, are you, you ignoring it because you're not doing anything to establish justice and your and your solution is to change the law yeah don't you think that those wheels are in motion no because but don't you you're don't an you example that recent, of that you're don't an you see that the recent that. supreme court justice that was appointed he said he, doesn't he, that give you doesn't that give you any hope did you hear what he said during the testimony yeah. during the when they do their what their set you out on this mission i'm curious well, you because this, this this is not the gospel. The gospel is love. The, no, the, the and, gospel and is faith and repentance in Jesus Christ. That's yeah. the gospel. Mm -hmm. That's the gospel. That means you have to admit that you're a sinner. Women need to know that murder is sin. How are they going to murder? What do you, how do you feel about the Westboro Baptist Church? What about them? You I agree with what they that, do? You're going off on a rabbit trail. Well, no, this is we, very similar. No, it's not. It's oh, yeah. not similar. Yeah, it is. No, because I'm teaching truth and grace truth no, you know. and repentance that's no, what this is no i think you've that been women deceived. that women need to know that they need a savior i think you've been deceived i think that you haven't yet what, what, experienced I don't think what you, am i being I don't, deceived about i don't think you've really experienced the love of jesus oh i i know fully well See, god's mercy because on my life even because though I'm, we may disagree i was an adulteress at one time so i'm fully aware of god's mercy and grace because fully even aware. though we may disagree on what you're doing i still love you that that's why I'm not attacking you. That's why I'm not belittling you. At, at least I hope you don't feel that, that then, I am. Will you answer my question then? Because you're not answering. Well, there's my a question. lot of questions I could ask you that you may not want to answer. So I think we yeah, should have that mutual respect. Then what 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 right? question do you have for me? What set you out on this mission? Because God wants His people to establish justice. You know, it it says in Proverbs 31 to speak out for the voiceless and judge righteously. In Psalm 82, God's word says to defend the fatherless. And when you defend somebody or something or someone, you are, you are defending them from physical harm. And these babies are being physically harmed. And there needs so to be are, justice so, so established are you for them. protesting an agency I'm not, that's, that's I'm not doing protesting exactly that? Them. I'm exhorting all of you to go beyond your balloons and your party houses and your music to get out into the culture to confront this now, evil. Ephesians 5.11. If that's not, if that's not exactly you, what you're describing, no, then what is? I'm exposing the evil. Ephesians 5.11 says how? expose evil. This you gotta, is what you gotta I'm give doing. me the how. You're talking ideology, but you're no. not talking how. This, this is how exactly I'm, what you described is right. exactly what's going on. I'm they're getting into the culture. This is a public area. They're not exposing they're, the evil, though. So you want them to do this? Every, everybody should take their turn at exposing this evil, yes. Well, you, you obviously don't understand the gospel because the gospel says that if we're to come to God, we must be like little children. Right. And for you to be exposing this to little ones like that, that lady who was just talking to you, she's a psychologist. She understands. She's the not formation. a Christian. No, she's not a Christian. She doesn't have the truth. It doesn't reside in her. So I don't. We we, we don't sit in the judgment seat. No. I asked you why, what what your mission is, what what yeah. sets you out on this mission, and, and, and I, why you're protesting an event. I'm not protesting that. That's oh, a yes, false. You, that's a false judgment. Well, I'm not. If, protesting. if you were in support of it, you wouldn't be displaying images that that could be harmful. No, this isn't to, to to children. I don't. There are children who have, you have seen this. Do you have kids? Okay, you keep trying to take off on rabbit trails. There's no rabbit trails. Yeah, there's We're rabbit trails. What you're doing because here what we need to focus on is, is you asked me what my mission is. My mission have, is to help. Do you have children? My you don't mission want to answer is. That question, do you? I do have. I have children, but that is separate from me being out here. To, my children are all grown. They're they're living their own separate lives. Okay. What has that got to do with my mission here? You, God you started put me quoting here verses today. when I asked you what set you out on this mission. And I did. That's it. Why yeah, don't what you personally? What's the personal connection? That is the personal connection. I love God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, and I love my neighbor as myself. And in Luke 10, when Jesus I don't, I don't was think asked, you're displaying love for your neighbors when here, Jesus was asked by the lawyer and who's my neighbor, he gave a parable of a man who was wounded, left on the side of the road to die. 
two religious leaders just walked by and left him to die. It was a Samaritan that actually came by a lost person that came and helped him. And Jesus asked the lawyer, who showed, who was neighbor to the one? What, what's your personal, I've heard the story, please, I've, I've talked okay. the story many times. What's your no. personal connection? What set you out on this mission? Was there a life event that happened to you that, that caused you to become this type of okay. activist? I'm the boy. Good. Hi. I'm Ms. Perez, the assistant principal. Nice to meet you. I'm just telling you, we're here to establish, my mission is to establish justice. That's my mission. So are you going to love your neighbor? Will you help come out to the murder mill and help rescue babies? There's over 200 babies that are being murdered. Every week in Tampa, there's five. Will you help? Well, life care. Will you help rescue the baby? You're attending the event. Yeah. Why, why do you ignore my invitation? Why, why would you ignore my invitation? Yeah, if, if you're going to display stuff like this. This oh, helps women in change. Of, in front of little kids. It, the it goes. That you have to it pass goes. Out, I'm not interested. Th in. These images actually ex they expose their suffering, and it changes the heart her. Yeah, of, she, she of, of, of her. I would like to see what you're showing me. This is an invitation. This I have YouTube videos that show how women have changed their mind I'm not because did in furthering the message that you're well, what about so it? the material that you have to offer me, I'm okay. not interested in. All right, well, going back to my first question to you, do you want to establish justice for them so that all the baby, the people involved in murdering... I already told you we agree on a lot of things. Will you help establish... So will you help the, change the law? the cart before the horse. Will you help change the law? And this is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Will you help change the law? This, you guys this, have some banners? This exposes right here? their banners? suffering. You got some sheets? I can ask them. We got something. Okay. You could stand here, but we could block it. Th there's a okay. petition. If you go inside and see what we have, I'll stay right here and deal with her. Okay. There, there's a petition have, like, uh, in, sheet, in the state of Florida. Banner, whatever we got. Okay. Would you want to help? There's a petition out right now. I don't. Micah? I can, I can hear you. you well, I that. couldn't hear. She's trying to overpower me. I, I, because I, we're I, not I want, done talking. And I want you to see the difference here of how people are treating you with respect, but you have no respect for anybody that's been yeah. here today. I have respect can for you, these, can these you, babies. Can you see that? I'm trying I don't, to help. I don't think you can. There's a lot of things you can't see. Something has clouded your mind and is stopping you from understanding the true gospel of Jesus Christ and from what you said, truly loving your neighbor. You're not doing that. that and if you don't see opinion. that, it's not my opinion. That's your opinion. It's not my opinion. Because I, I have God words that I present to people. I would, God I, would says, love to talk, I would love to talk to you without your GoPro and without all your propaganda because I think, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Diana. Diana. I think inside Diana is a good person and something has, has, has caused, set you out on this mission that has, it's God's love. has clouded your It's God's mind. love that set me out on this mission. No. God wants the, no. these babies' voices Diana, to be heard. God's love is not this. Will you help? Will opinion. you help petition your? Opinion. Will you help petition? I'm going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna help these people that are here spreading God's message, not this. Will you help outlaw this? Will you help outlaw the murder? 